Hello everyone and welcome to MDLR Fishing. My name is Mark and today I'm telling you what, first day of the new year that I'm going to be back on the water. It feels great to be out here because you almost begin to lose yourself whenever you go away. I took two weeks off and uh, it doesn't seem like it because I've got uh, some videos that have pumped out so far for the beginning of the year, but this right here is me getting back on the water. Not sure what to expect. Hopefully we're gonna catch some fish, but if we don't, I'm just glad we're out here. start things off with uh, fishing the bottom since it's a bit cooler than usual and uh, I want to begin the year with a catch and cook so what we're gonna try to do is catch a redfish hopefully uh, we'll get a flounder or a trout I don't honestly I don't care I just want to catch one fish that's a keeper to take home and cook up so let's get started ah oh, you know what but before we do a moment of silence for our good buddy right here, y'all have seen this guy so many times. Uh, he's definitely seen better days and just, uh, yeah, let's bow our heads for a quick minute. Okay, there we go. Uh, so long, good buddy. It's been nice knowing you. But so that we can stay legal, I brought my son's hog trough out. Looks brand new compared to mine. Let's get this first cast out of the way and try and get a keeper fish. I'm looking forward to a red fish. Quick update, did a battery swap and we've been fishing for approximately an hour with no bites, no signs of life. There is bait, so I should be a little bit optimistic because of that and there are birds out here, but no bites yet. Y'all can't hear it, but uh, the wind is really howling. We had 13 mile an hour on the weather app, and uh, yeah, it's every bit of that. We're in some deep water right now. Deep to me, it's a, uh, you know, I guess that's a relative term in like uh, what you're fishing. For us, normal water is about less than a foot, maybe 12 inches at, on average. And we're in five feet right now, so this is exactly what I was trying to find. That's where I think, if I was a fish, I'd be deep. I just want to stay warm. Eh, back to four feet. It's the deepest part of the water, with exception to the intercoastal, which is where we launched. Almost at the mouth of the river. And still, not one bite for us today. It's been tough. We've doubled back and we've got a tree line now somewhat protecting us from 13 mile an hour winds. It's been horrible. Uh, but since we can control the boat a little bit better than what we have been able to, I'm gonna remove this big lure downsize to a tinier one. The previous winter, uh, it just, it seems as if I downsized, I was, I had a little bit better luck catching fish. So that's what I'm gonna do, and hopefully we'll get one of these fellas to bite. Right here we've got some birds feeding on what I think is a bottlenose dolphin. Earlier I had seen a coyote out there munching on him, but before I could pull the big camera out, he had taken off. Uh, leave a comment down below what y'all think it is. Uh, pretty interesting this though. This corner right here has got to have something. You got all the wind and the water being blown right here on this corner, and it's loaded with oyster make a few casts over here everyone and i'm gonna go all in even if i catch a chicken i don't care i just want to catch something a croaker a gaff top it doesn't matter <laughs> i don't care i can't be picky
lots of bait. There it is. It's a flounder. Looks like a flounder. Yep. Little beady potato skin. Look at this. Gosh, put all my cards. I went all in and we accomplished it. We did not get skunked. Actually, we got skunked, but not in a traditional sense. Little bitty flounder. Thank you, buddy, so much. We need to get a great look at that. And uh, because it's probably gonna be the only fish that I'm gonna catch today. <laughs> Beautiful little flounder. Uh oh, there's another thump. Gotcha. And another potato skin. A bunch of baby flounder. Look at that hook set. That is beautiful. That is a great hook set right there. And if we could just catch a big fella. What I was saying was if we could just catch a big guy, that would be awesome. I managed to get this guy off, but the battery died. So we had to do a quick battery swap. Check out the uh, the whopper we got right here, everybody. Another potato skin. This one's a little bit smaller. Look how close his eye is. Like whenever they're tiny and then they start growing up, what I've been told was that their eyes, they start off with one eye on each side of their head and then it just slowly shifts. This guy, you can tell, it's just like right there, almost at the top of his head, if he was a straight swimmer. Let's get him back in the water. To get rid of, man, that, the tide is ripping. Yeah, and that ain't the wind either. That tide is ripping in, bro. I'm, I'm done, I don't wanna get caught in this. And, have a long ways. Let's go weed, bro. That is gonna do it, ladies and gentlemen. Thank y'all so much for tagging along. So we only got two tater skins out there on the water and I'm just gonna complete the order here at Central Texas Barbecue in Pearland. Uh, yeah, one of the best baked potatoes with chopped beef out there and uh, I'm about to just forget about what happened on the water and enjoy this meal. So until next time, tight lines y'all.